Hi, welcome back. I hope you guys are all doing good. I just want to say thank you for joining me in the video hop that I participated in a few days ago. Um, and actually this video is in response to that video hop video that I made. In that video, um, I did made tags and I did a matte medium transfer onto painted papers. And I got lots of comments. So in this video, I'm going to show you a Mod Podge transfer, which that's what I'm doing right now, and a matte medium transfer, a gesso transfer, and an acrylic paint transfer. I just want to show you that you can do this process with any supply you currently have. You know, I am certainly one that watches a video or sees a project and thinks, oh, I need that supply to do that project. And most often I don't. Most often I have something that would work to do the project right in my own stash. So the first thing you do is mag get a magazine image and some sort of substrate, be it a piece of paper or cardboard or whatever you want to transfer your image to. Then you are going to use whatever type of medium you have. So in this next one I'm doing a gesso transfer. So you've got your substrate, which mine happens to be a book page. Then you're going to have your medium, which in this case right now is gesso, and then the image that you would like to transfer. And you want to put the image face down. The image that you want to end up with, you want to put that face down. And then you want to brayer it or squeegee it or you just want to get all the air bubbles out because the better the connection, the better the image will come out. Now next I'm using some acrylic paint. And I just happened to use an ad from a Departures magazine. I wanted them all to be similar so it's it's the same ad. It was a two-page ad and, Departures, and a Departures magazine. Now I put that acrylic paint down. Now I'm using my credit card to you know, squeegee all the paint evenly and the best connection you get the better it's going to come out. And then the next step is to let it thoroughly, thoroughly, and I cannot repeat this enough, thoroughly dry. Because if you don't let it thoroughly dry, it won't, it just won't come out. It'll end up with a mess. So now I'm using a paintbrush and water. And I think this is the matte medium one that I'm releasing first. And you just want to paint it and with water and then start to peel away the pulp, the, the, the part of the magazine page that you don't want. Now, it's a delicate balance. You can oversaturate it as well and that can, you can end up tearing a hole in your paper. So it's sort of a delicate balance. Once you've practiced it a few times, you'll really get the hang of it. And depending upon how sturdy the substrate, you know, what you're adhering it to, that's also part of it. Now I'm doing the same thing, paintbrush with water, and now releasing the gesso transfer. And you'll see in a minute, I'm going to take off a, a big portion of this paper because the other thing is, is that your image will only adhere to where you, where it's made the connection. So in this instance, I didn't, I didn't put enough gesso to get the whole image, the whole piece of paper. Now I'm doing the acrylic paint. It is a little bit fiddly, the process, but once you start doing it, you'll see it unleashes a whole, I think, like a whole extra layer of stuff you can add to your journaling, to your mixed media artwork. I actually made greeting cards, well, actually a birthday card for one of my daughters not too long ago, and I used printed images from the computer. I actually 
went and found some old pictures of her as a child and made her a card doing the same process. And I just used regular printer paper and no crazy, just a regular printing. Now you can see all four of, of how they came out. Mod Podge, matte medium, they look fairly similar, yes? I think they look exactly the same. I'm just pointing out that you can still see some of the book image underneath. And this is the gesso transfer. And the bottom is the acrylic paint. It really can give you some neat texture and techniques for, you know, like real, some real depth to whatever you're trying. And I'm going to go back because I didn't get all the pulp off. And uh, I'm seeing all of it still there. You know, if you do want to use this as like a base in some sort of form of mixed media, I would, the next step would be, for me, would be to put some, some sort of clear gesso or matte medium or even another layer of Mod Podge on top. So then if you paint on it, you're not going to, you'll still be able to have part of that image underneath it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this gives you some ideas and let, lets you know that you can do most any project with the art supplies you already have in your stash. <coughs> I'm sorry, the dog, somebody's here. <laughs> All right, you guys, until next time. <laughs> and as always, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Take care. Bye for now.